This is where it gets really crazy. If you're eating really small amounts of protein, yes. like 20 grams at a time, you're not going to get muscle protein synthesis because the liver is going to, the liver basically takes first dibs on the protein and undergoes gluconeogenesis. It's just going to make glucose out of protein. So if you just trickle tiny amounts of protein in, you're not getting muscle protein synthesis. I'm if turning you, it into glucose through a into really glu inefficient process. Yeah, you're just, you're, the liver is turning it into glucose. If you eat tons of protein, and the limit based on the literature seems to be somewhere between 40 and 50 grams in one sitting. Okay. Once you exceed 40 to 50 grams in one sitting, the excess just goes into gluconeogenesis. What do you think? Well, okay. Again, twisting the facts. Um, if, if you take 20 grams of protein at a time, you're not going to build any muscle taking 20 grams of protein. Okay, that is totally incorrect. The context of that, if you were eating nothing except protein, 20 grams of protein every little meal, 100% right. Because energy trumps how big your muscles are. You have to produce energy so it will be converted to energy, which is gluconeogenesis, okay? So it's making, in, it's making into a molecule, uh, like whether it, be a, whether it be glucose or whatever. The bottom line is it's going to convert it to energy. That's what the beauty of protein. It can be go both ways. It can be used as energy, and of course, it can be used to be build, build, build lean body mass. Know that carbohydrates and fats can't do that. Right. So car the protein goes both ways. So if you trickle in only 20 grams, <laughs> this is so funny. If you're quick in this little 20 grams here, 20 grams here, 20, and you don't eat anything else, absolutely it's going to go gluconeogenesis. And, that, and he didn't say that in the context. Put it in the context of the diet. If you're getting, at the same time, 20 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbohydrates, 10 grams of fat, like a mixed meal, well, of course, some of that protein is going to go ahead and build, build muscle. Or it's going to be part of that. But remember where this all comes from now. So it's the context of the mixed meal, the context of what you're doing, if that 20 grams, where it's going to go. The bottom line is it's the amount of protein a day, one gram per pound of lean body mass. You cover it, you split it up. That's ideal. Okay, so that was that part of it there. And then he goes, well, you got to eat 40 grams at a time. And 40, 50, that's what the literature shows. No, that's not true either. If you eat 80 grams at one time, you're going to use every bit of it in the body. Not every bit of it's going to go to muscle. The number for muscle, what we call the muscle full effect, is about 1.18 grams per pound of lean body mass. Somewhere in there is the muscle full effect. The rest of it's going to go build liver tissues, skin tissues, and all that. There's thousands of proteins in the body. Amino acids are used scattered everywhere. Other thing he's right about is this. Liver gets first shot at protein. Once you digest it, amino acids go in through the portal vein. They go into the liver. We call that splanchnic extraction. It extracts the aminos and sends them where they need to be. So that part was you know, fairly accurate. But they're going to go to where they need to go. And as long as you're covering your energy needs with carbs and fats, then protein's going to go to the rebuilding of your tissues. Because remember, every four hours, you're catabolic. Your yeah. protein's now dumping out amino acids to be converted to energy to keep you alive. Okay, at that particular time. So it's not until protein comes back in the body before you come anabolic again. That's it. So that's four hour, four hour window. You know, so that's the old four, four hour rule. So he's just saying it again, trying to get yeah, people's attention. Um, he's just saying that to get people. Bottom line is the context in which you eat the protein. And there's nothing wrong with 20 grams of proteins every few hours. And if it comes out to be you need 120 grams a day. Let's say you're a 160 pound person with a with a, you know 15 to 20 pound body fat. You need 120 grams of protein a day. If you ate those in five different meals, you'd be golden. It's the amount of protein, and the more you can split it up, the better it is too. And then make sure you cover your needs with your with your fats and carbohydrates. If you don't, if you're just eating protein, and you know that I put these these movie stars that I get get ready for a, a body shot. You know, I got, uh, that's all they get to have is protein because that's going to go energy and keep a little bit of muscle at the same time. They just shed the fat real quick, real quick. You know, and of course, you're going to lose a little muscle at the same time. But that's that's worth it just to make sure they get down to that that shot. So anyway, yeah. So get, again, just kind of twisting up the words. Uh, he just talked about 20 yeah. grams in the context of no other food. So that that's where that this comes from. There's just no other food. There's no other food. Yeah. In, then of course, it's going to be used for energy. Yeah. It's going to be converted and it's going to go through gluconeogenesis. So if there's no other food taken with that, but if you're eating a thousand calories and in that thousand calories is 20 grams of protein, that's all going to probably go to muscle because you got plenty of energy nutrients. Yeah. You don't need any gluconeogenesis from protein. That's the last thing a body wants to do. It just does it. Yeah. yeah so that's, that's, yeah, he's, that's, you know, any, and of course, probably any 
anybody that's you know got any kind of background in nutrition would identify that and say the same thing. It's got to be in the context. How are you talking about taking those 20 grams in? Yeah, and maybe this clip was pulled out of context. We never know. Yeah, but you never know. It's fun yeah. to look but at. The rest of it's I mean, okay. I, and you got me as some like, I don't have this background in nutrition. Yeah. So, you yeah, know, I see stuff like this, and then you know, but we I got like, all of I, our followers. I try to clear up the air for all of you with yeah. you know. But I do love. What I do like is that he said, you know what, the literature talks about forty, fifty grams. But again, that is in the context. The older you are, the more protein your body can use for, for it needs to to overcome the anabolic resistance yeah i mean again it's weight it's weight and activity so we do everything by weight i think i and i think i just want to make sure i listen i've had four back-to-back -back lectures today so my brain's a little bit fried uh but but you know because i've got so many things i did microbiome today i did uh, aging men over 40 lectures today peptides and everything else so uh, everything else but as i recall it's 0.18 grams per pound of lean body mass that's the protein your muscle full effect the most your when i say the most it's right around that number there so if you're 175 pounds uh that's somewhere you know about 35 grams of protein your muscles can use if you eat 80 guess what then a lot, some of it will go to gluconeogenesis for energy, and the re, oh, and which means also it can be converted to fat if you're eating too many calories overall. And the other part, it can just go to other tissues. Yeah, your muscle's not the only thing that uses amino acids. Well, he said forty to fifty, and then anything beyond that goes to gluco gluconeogenesis. Well, that's what he was saying there, right? And it can be if if you're getting enough. But what about what you were saying about like your liver and your um, organ tissue and skin and all yeah, that, it's all you know? that. That's that's we're recycling all our amino acids mm -hmm. in the body. You know, you only, you only you only that's why you only need. Listen, we probably we probably replace four hundred grams of protein a day a day in the or amino acids a day in the average or protein a day in the average person. But we, when we break it down. And it comes out, we can recycle most of the amino acids. So that's why the one gram per pound of lean body mass is all we really need to continue to grow the structure. But as far as, you know, eating more than that, it's going to go somewhere. It depends on the, how many calories you're taking right. in. It's going to go to, by the way, if it goes to gluconeogenesis, it's going to be converted to fat if you have too many calories. Right. Or it's going to be used for energy if you don't. So if you're eating 40 grams of protein only, okay, only at each meal, well, trust me, it's all going to go to energy, gluconeogen. You're going to burn it as energy and so forth. It won't go to fat. If you're eating 1,000, 3,000 calories in carbohydrates and fats and 40 grams, 50 grams of protein in each meal, well, then anything over probably 30 grams is going to go to uh, body fat because you've got so many other calories there, you don't have to worry about it. So you don't need protein for energy. you got enough coming from everything else. Yeah. So that's kind of how it all works. That's the way the human body works, and he knows that. He's just kind of putting yeah. it so it gets a little shock effect. Everybody goes, oh, wow, wow, that's really smart. Yeah, like, oh, I've been eating 20 grams yeah. at a time, and I'm not oh, like now building really muscle. Yeah. Now i got to double it. Okay, yeah. yeah, no. It's the context of your mixed meal. I get it. Everyone's got to yeah. throw a little twist in there every yeah, now and again. Sure. Keep people Well, that's on what I love toes. about what you're doing here. It's just, <laughs> it's just we got to fact check them. You know, yeah. just that's all it comes I mean, down to, yeah. Why are we making it so complicated? That's uh, kind of like why I uh, that, I this. like what you said there. Why are we making it complicated? That's what you're doing. It's not complicated. Yeah. It's really, really simple. The facts are simple. Doing it yeah. might be more. And that's, that's the internet noise. Yeah. Uh, that's what I call. I call it the internet noise. I have to. I like one of my lectures today. I said, "Yeah, you got to just cut the noise. Cut. It's just you know the, the great thing about the internet. We can't live without it. The great thing about you know all these things. We can't live without it. But when the noise comes in and you've got 17 different things to analyze and you're really not qualified to analyze any of them, you're pretty screwed. Yeah. 